I heard the Lord the day passed. He told me to tell him, put your pot out. I said, God, what you mean? Elijah told the woman, ha, you don't know go see. Hey, hey, put your pot out. The woman didn't have nothing left. He said, just a drop of oil. See, sometimes the devil will strip you from everything. It seemed like I ain't got nothing left to give. I look in the cabinets and it's bare. I look in my heart and it's bare. I'm weary. I'm low. But God said tonight, if you put your pot out, it was just a drop. You know what the oil is, sister? It's just a little bit of the Holy Ghost. Sometimes the enemy will strip you and all you got is just a drop left. But I tell you, oil flow. It ain't nothing but the anointing. It's still left. Everything's gone, but I'm still yet anointed. The enemy don't came and he don't wreck heaven. But I still got a little bit of oil. I'm still anointed. You thought you took my anointing, but I'm still tired of the Lord. I tell you, I tell some of y'all, if you go home and you look and you say, look at what left. Don't worry about what went because what went don't, you didn't need anyway. But what I got left, I may not have a lot, but the little that I got, God said he's going to spread the oil. He's going to spread the oil. The oil. It's the oil. It's the oil that kept me. Put your pot out. Somebody turn to Demorology there. 15th chapter. We're gonna go in a few minutes. But I yada little go see. Yada go see. God, I thank you. I got two scriptures that God gave me. And I, I need you to know this. That these are only for the obedient ones. If you ain't obeying God, just sit down. Don't even worry. Just go with the flow. Next year this time, you'll still be in the same rut. Somebody ought to say, but next year this time, I decree and declare, I shall not be in the same place. The devil is a lie. He said that, uh, starting with verse 6, I kind of paraphrased it. At the end of every seventh year, you must cancel your debts. This is how it must be done. The loans that you have made to your fellow Israelites must not demand payment from their neighbors or their relatives. For the Lord, time of release have arrived. Somebody say the Lord's time. The Lord's time. He said the scripture says that there is a Lord's time of release. He said whatever you're going through, whatever bills that you owe, whatever the devil is put on you. Whatever affliction. He said that's a Lord's time of release. That means that no matter what, God has spoken and he's getting ready to release the heavens. When God released something, can't nobody stop it. Somebody said the Lord. The Lord's release. That means God is saying, I'm getting ready to release it. It's getting ready to release it.
and everybody don't forget that you were down there. You know, sometimes you can go through stuff so long, people will walk away. They'll forget you there. Folks will walk you through for a minute. Come on, girl, bless your little heart, but let you stay there a minute too long. They're going to stop calling you. They're going to stop coming to your house. And when you call and they see the number, they ain't going to answer. But God said, a promise is a promise. I want y'all to get this. He said, I'm going to bless you. In verse 6, just as I promised. But now I went to do a little research. Come here, listen. Let me hold my rag, girl. You're supposed to be close to me. Where you at? You can all unload it by. I went to do a research on the promise. The promise is, it's, it's set, it's country, it's fixed, it's settled, it's done. When a promise is made, it's concrete. Hey God, 2.19, listen to what it says. Y'all got to listen close to this. He said, I'm giving you a promise now. Somebody say now. Now, now time. Now. Not tomorrow, but now. The scriptures say, say when? Now. Oh God, now sin prosperity. The way we need him to do it. Now faith. He said, I'm giving you, this is Haggai 219, a promise. When? Now. When? Now. now. He said, listen to this here. He said, while the seed is still in the bone. So he said, you ain't even planted the seed yet. He said, why are you still thinking about what you're going to put in the offering pan? Why are you still thinking about what you're going to do? He said, why this seed is still in your hand? He said, I know the beginning and the end. I've already promised you. He said, before you can get it in the ground. He said, 